We're here at the Fire Middle East Conference 2024. Uh, delighted to be joined here by Mike Egan, who's with React on Fire Suppression, today's platinum sponsor at uh, the first edition of this event. Uh, Mike, first of all, thanks very much for being here and being, oh, a, part of, being a part of this. Uh, it's great to have React on on board. And I know that we're hearing from Ed today, um, who's delivering a keynote speech on your uh, innovative fire suppression technologies. I want to know a little bit more about React on in the region from you. So first of all, I mean, we are here in Riyadh. Tell us more about which products you're finding are most relevant to the Saudi market, please, and how you're planning to sort of expand in this area. Yeah, of course. So today's been really fantastic. So we've been able to, to speak to the team and kind of just uh, position products to make it sure that we fully understand what, what the market requires. And we've had some great feedback from people we've seen today, some great people from Saudi Electricity, for example, have come by. So we've had the um, electrical cabinet protection solutions that we offer has gained some real interest and we can see that growing as we kind of capitalize on the UL approval that we've recently achieved. Um, and along with that, we're starting to broach into the heavy plant industry uh, for fire suppression and we're seeing the approvals we've got again being recognized in terms of product reliability and quality. Fantastic. Yeah, it's been a, a really exciting journey, I think, watching Reacton's evolution here in the Middle East market. Obviously, we learned about the, um, the UL certification recently, and I know that you've been getting some good interest in the room um, for some of your products. How do you plan on developing in this market? You know, what do you see for the future of Reacton in the Middle East, let's say, in the next two to three years? Yeah, so this is really to, to capitalize on the approvals that we've already um, achieved and start to strategically um, work with our partners in some of these large-scale projects and into, into some of the market verticals where we've been underrepresented historically, mm -hmm. such as the ports and material handling element. We're already active here in, in mining and some of the infrastructure projects. So it's really capitalizing with our existing partners, showing a commitment to the region by um, continuing to develop our approvals that we have. Um, so we've got a robust set of approvals for what the market requires and developing the relationships with um, consultants and with the existing integrators that we work with throughout the region. So it's really exciting times here for Reacton. Phenomenal, yes, and the, the one word that I think we can take from that the most is commitment. Yeah. We know how important that is to Reacton as a, as a business and the way that you implement your products and work with your partners, and I can only see that the way is up for you guys here. Um, and you know, look forward to watching this evolution of, of Reacton in, in the next few years. So thanks very much for being here today, Mike. Perfect. And uh, we'll see you at, at future events in the region. Cheers, thank you.